Okay, um, this is Preston Sandlin with Home Inspection Carolina. Today I'm at a home in Lansdowne that has radiant hate, heat, hate, heat in the ceiling. And we've got them all on. We're walking into the kitchen right here. Um, and they all seem to work okay. Um, Ken's going to tell us a little bit about it. Um, there's an individual thermostat that controls each one. And thermostat is over here. Um, t tell us a little bit about the thermostat. It's uh, 240 volt. This is a, the original install about 50 years ago. Okay. This is a GE system, and it's line level voltage. So this is 240 volts going through this okay. stat. Uh, very simple operation. Um, how, how long have you think, lived here, Ken? Uh, this is my mother-in-law's house. Okay. And she lived, she lived here. Uh, they built the house, and they lived, she lived here up until she became a widow about five years ago. Okay, and this is the uh, only form of heat in the house, correct? Only form of heat in the house. Um, sometime after they originally built the house, they installed central air conditioning. Um, that one's underneath the house. Okay. It's ducted underneath, but uh, no, this is the only form of heat this house has ever had. Okay, let's take a look at some of the other rooms. Um, and we're going back to the infrared. And as you can see, we have it on on all the... I uh, wish we could zoom out, but uh, this is in the living room. That little space there is for a uh, light, but as you can see, um, you can see a little mood music there, but uh, no, that's a uh, that's phone. Uh, but you can see they're all working. Uh, really, with radiant heat, it's pretty simple. Um, I, I mean, I hate to say it, but it either works or it doesn't. Um, that, you know, an element's burned up or it works, and uh, they appear to all work. Um, let's go inside um, the other room here. This is the hallway going into this is the foyer, as you can see. And you can see, seems like all the uh, burners there work. Go into the living room or formal di formal living room, and see they all work. And they're they're, you know, the other thing to notice is they're all pretty evenly. Um, if a burner burns out, I know with stoves and things like that, you wouldn't, they wouldn't, you wouldn't have an even distribution. One would be, uh, you know, a lot cooler than the other one, and they all seem to be pretty even to me. Let's, uh, let's take another look in this other room. This is the formal dining room, chandelier right there. Chandelier actually is a little bit warmer than the atmosphere, and that's because it's actually heating up. Because, see, the radiant heat is causing that glass to heat, and it's actually showing up. And uh, if you have furniture or something like that, that all heats up. It actually helps to hold heat into the room. But if there was something wrong with it, we would, we would see a, a, a dark area where they had gone out. Um, but, um, but now they don't have it in the hallway. But this is a bedroom, as you can see. See the radiant heat in this room. Okay, and then there's in here as well. And then we have it, master bedroom, as it comes in here. And then we have the master bedroom. Now, you know, I don't know about the, um, just from a standpoint of it is all working. Now, I don't know about, you know, fire safety or that. I can't speak to that. But they, I, I can say that uh, they are all heating and, and uh, they're heating universally. Uh, this is Preston Sandler, Home Inspection Carolina, looking at a radiant uh, roof heat today.